Hey all, Kurt Sussel here from TGT at Fan Expo Canada 2011. We're here at Sup Cuz with Sammy. How you doing today, Sammy? Today's good. It's fun to be at the Fan Expo. So we're going to hang out with some nerds, get into some ruckus, have some candy. And, and we're also going to have some amazing shirts here because this is, this is what drew me to this, this booth was these really hilarious shirts. Let's talk about this uh, part of your company. Yeah, it's based on the 3C philosophy. So comedy, comfort, and community. And that's what we we want just like a group of people just hanging out we're comfortable we're having fun and as you said the shirts are hilarious they're based on that kind of idea like we have one called weak and it's just the idea of being deficient in humor intelligence skill ability and um, yeah just devoid of any potential weak which is perfect for like fan expo you know what I mean there's always these debates between like Star Trek and comic books and stuff like that and weak as a standard always comes up now and then so that's it it's pretty simple but Sup Cuz isn't just about the t-shirts, so you have a great new uh, comic as well. Yeah, I have a book out called uh, Red Letter Nights, and we deal with... It. Red is weird, because it deals with, like, uh, Blood, Flash, Spider-Man, those red, those poor, unfortunate red shirts on Star Trek, um, all these things, and for whatever reason, we've lumped red into, like, these, this huge connotation. Blue is just, like, water, and, like, that, you know, sadness, and that's it. Green is, like, nature, you know what I mean? But for red, for some reason, it's just so rich with like potential. So that's all it does. It just celebrates all the different aspects of red. So, Fan Expo, you know, you've been here before, covering it in a different medium. Yeah. You know, you're you're here now on the other side of the table. Yeah. Uh, what do you find that's different compared to being on, say, my side? It's actually kind of neat to talk to other creators as well. Being in, in the midst of Artist Alley, it's neat to hear other people's stories and how what they're working on and what inspired them and stuff. And sometimes you get a more honest answer because sometimes you're doing media stuff, you get the kind of like, you're like, you know, this is inspired. By, but you know when you actually hang out with people you get to hear the authentic story and it's also fun to engage the public we have candy in our booth which is always so good and draws people out and uh, people love candy so and it's a good way to like break the ice and like hear their people's story we just had a couple who bought a shirt and they were here on their honeymoon now that's a that's a feel good geek story right there and yeah, then I mean it's like you just want to hug everybody now right you know, this is a, you know, I've, I've been to this convention a few years here. Uh, you know, I find that a lot of people that have come through this are are just inspired by the creative people, especially with the people in your table mates down the way here. You know, what do you find that inspires you to, to do this day in and day out? It's creativity. That's what it boils down to. You can't wait for inspiration. Inspiration is not like the bus. It's not just going to show up if you keep going to the office. or You know what I mean? You have to constantly work at it and just be creative but just creativity is like um, it's like Lego blocks so you kind of that's why I have like t-shirts and a book right so that I'm always playing in different mediums they're all still storytelling at the end of the day but it's just finding ways to kind of tell different types of stories and allowing the medium to dictate because a blank t-shirt for example you can put anything you can be lazy and just put on keep on trucking and then you're done right but realistically you can do you put anything on the front on the back on the sleeve and it's just being inspired by that and just kind of just soaking in that creativity and as I was saying before with being in the artist alley you're here with other creative people and you're just listening to their stories and what inspired them and then just kind of taking all those influences and just mixing it all up in a blender and just spilling it back on into the medium and just the ability to play the ability to be creative is amazing like it's so much fun accountants only like use numbers and that's it they don't ever sit around and say what's your favorite number mine's the number six or, you know what I mean but creative people get to play and do all kinds of really cool stuff with like markers and those smelly markers or whatever we get to do stuff with sparkles and photoshop and photography art all kinds of amazing things and it's really it's a privilege to kind of be creative and to do these things you know, Fan Expo is eventually going to close down. You're going to be kicked out of here <laughs> eventually. Yes. But what personal experiences are you going to take away from this type of event? It's um, the stories. Like the couple I mentioned who were here on their honeymoon. Anytime you can, anybody can willing to share a story or engage or connect with people. Because we were talking about creativity, right? And creativity can't work in a uh, box. It can't be isolated. It has to connect with people. You, Your t-shirts have to get out. Your book has to 
to get out. Your movie, whatever it is, it has to get out and connect. And the ability to connect and the response that people give you um, will always surprise me because it's just like you can never really tailor what how people will think or what will happen with your product when you put it out there. But it's the response and the stories that they share and how it connects and how it influences them. That's really interesting. And so just to walk away with that, hear more stories like a couple on honeymoon. It's kind of neat. So and we just started, which is really cool. And what's the website we can see some of your products at? Two websites. One is samyunin.com and the other one is subcuz.biz. Awesome. Good stuff there. Hey, Sammy, I just want to wish you the very best on the rest of this convention. I hope you have a great time and, and I hope you sell a lot of shirts here. Fantastic. Help yourself some candy.